What's going on guys, OddmanMC back at you with another episode today here in Minecraft and today I'm going to show you how to build three different bridges. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find a spot for your bridge and gather your materials. These are the materials that I'm using. I am not putting exact numbers of what you could use because if you wanted this to be longer and you wanted to extend the bridge out, it would be a little bit different. But this should be the right uh, size that we would need. So what we're going to do is we're going to place our first stone brick block. We're going to move over three. So there's a three wide gap here. And then we're going to build two sets of these going across. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna go off of this one, go over by two, and build so it is one higher than this. Go over by one, build this up so it is up by one more. And we're gonna build about three of these going across. These would be the ones that you would extend to go across. So if you need to go even, uh, have even more, that's perfectly fine. But what we're gonna do is have, about, I think about three of these going across just building up from the bottom and I'm going all the way down because this kind of adds a little bit more support for the bridge technically we don't need it but it's kind of nice to add it visually I like the aesthetic of it so we're building that up now this is where it starts sloping down and then we're just gonna build up by one and what we're gonna do is we're gonna mirror this exact same thing on this side Next, once your pillars are done, you're going to come in, and you can see I already put some fence posts in, but we're going to take our oak fences, and we're just going to go along the edge like this. You can build it all the way down to the bottom of the river or ocean or wherever you're building this at. I'm not going to, but we're just going to have our fences like this on either side. After that, we're going to grab our cobblestone stairs, and we're going to put them in like this. On the ends with just one, it's going to be just a normal stair, but on these other ones, it's going to be an upside down and a normal stair. So we're kind of adding a little bit of a texture, a little bit of depth to the bridge. Um, I really like this kind of look, but we're going to do this on both sides. Next, we're going to come in with the path. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of have this angling up to the center, and then it's going to fold right back down to the other side. I'm going to put a, a slab there just to kind of keep it going. But we're just going to kind of build it up. I'm going to build this out by two here. Whoops, right there. And then it's going to go across these top three pillars just like this. If you want to come back through and actually work in some uh, stripped oak planks to kind of add some wear to it for texture, you sure can. But for the purpose of just showing you guys, I'm just going to uh, build it with just oak slabs. And we're just going to build it all the way across until we get to flat land. Next, to finish up the build on this bridge, we're just gonna build across with some uh, oak fences. And then after that, you can actually come in and add some texture to these other building blocks that we are using. If you notice in my hot bar, and like I showed you at the beginning of the video, um, we do have cracked stone bricks, and we also have mossy stone bricks. And you can come on in and just texture these up, make it look a little worn for wear, just like it's kind of a decrepit bridge or it's been around for a long time. It adds such a different aesthetic to it, adds some more flavor to it, kind of whatever your plans are in your world. If you wanted to add some bushes or leaves to this, you sure can. Um, even vines would add just a little bit more, but even just a little bit of that adds so much more uh, decoration to it. Okay, for this bridge, you're going to use these materials down here and find a space that is about 13 long. You can make it longer if you'd like to. This is just what I'm using for this demonstration. But we're gonna find a spot to put our first log. I'm using spruce in this sense, and a three wide gap over to the other side. And then we're gonna go over by two, all the way down, and come all the way up to where it's one over. Same thing here, all the way up. This is gonna be the peak of ours, so then the next one's going to be down by uh, one. just like that and then just like this mirroring it on the other side okay next we're gonna come in with our slabs and I want my top point of the slabs to be here so we're going to layer these out on either side just kinda of slowly making our way down like so 
and we're going to come back through later and texture in some campfires to kind of add some like wooden walkways some log type feel to it we're just going to layer it down like this coming down to this edge and we're going to do this same design on the other side Next, once your walkway is done, we're going to come in and we're going to layer in some trap doors just like so. So that way they are too high all the way around. Just like this all the way around. Actually, we might add a third layer in here just because it's a little higher. All right, once your trap doors are in, they should look like this. And then we're going to add some cobblestone walls to the tops of these spruce logs. Um, you can vary this if you'd like, if you'd like to have maybe that there and maybe a slab there. You can sure do that. But for my purposes, I'm just going to add the cobblestone walls just like this. On top of these, we're going to place some lanterns so we can see at night. And we can just do them at random. Doesn't have to be in any specific order. Just kind of to add a little bit of light and a little variation. Next, we're going to come in with some oak gates and we're just going to add a little bit of extra texture to these. These top two are going to have two oak gates on them while these bottom two right here are just going to have one. So we're just going to put these on all the sides. This just adds a little extra detail. You don't have to do this step. You could add fences if you'd like. I just like the look of the oak gates. And next we're going to come in with the final texture of the campfires. You're going to want to make sure these are on the bottom half, kind of like these slabs are. So they'll be here and on this spot. And these are great just to add some extra texture because we'll use the splash water bottle or you could use a shovel just to take those out. And they're left with the wood and it looks really nice. And we're not going to put this everywhere. We're going to kind of like vary it a little bit so that way it's just adding some extra texture throughout the build like this bridge has kind of been repaired at times it's still sturdy still holding strong but it's still working really well and you can actually build this entire thing out of them but you're gonna have to adjust how you're using the slabs you can't put campfires up here or else they end up sinking down one so if you wanted this to be straight across you sure could but for my purposes i didn't like that i like the natural slope of it so we're just going to add them into these spots. And with that, our three bridges are done. That's all the time I have for today, guys. If you liked the video, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. And always remember the most important thing is to be odd. And wash your hands. Peace, guys.